Could the existence of alien technology really be buried right underneath our feet? Well, Bob Lazar seems to think so. I think at least one of them was part of an archaeological dig. So it's old. Now, Bob had supposedly worked on these crafts during his time on a top secret project. There's been a bunch of people that called bullshit on many of the things that you've said, but over time, many of the things that you talked about, even in the 80s, have proven to be true. And one of the things he talked about back in the 80s was element 115, which was supposedly fueling the craft. And at the time, this was only theoretical, but in 2015, the discovery of the new element was confirmed. So you're going into this craft, and what do you think thinking when you're inside of it. Like, what are you seeing? Everything looks like it's fused together. Everything has a radius of curvature where two uh, items meet. It's, uh, it's a really weird looking thing. Now, after bringing his friends to the desert to watch test flights of these UFOs, Bob would end up getting caught, fired from the project, and harassed by the government. 